All right. Hello, everybody. I know you've seen a bunch of these things online on YouTube about how to make a charger out of an Altoid tin via solar. Now, the majority of the ones that I have seen say that you need to get one of those fence lights, solar fence light, take it apart, you can make it into a flashlight and charger. The only problem with this is that those solar panels will only charge two cells, all right? It's rated at 4.7 volts, but that will only charge a three volt system. You need at least a six volt system when you're making these things. Now here's mine. This is a six volt solar panel. I ordered it on eBay and it was only like maybe five bucks plus three dollars shipping and handling and I got two of them. Now of course I have this hot glued to the top. This is where you know I plug in my USB. I don't know if you can see that very well. There we go. Uh, here's my switch and of course here's my little LED to let me know when I have the power turned on because I don't have it set for a direct feed. Now, when I open this up, you'll see I did a cutout in that little corner so that you know the wires won't get cut up. I used heat shriek tubing to keep these two together. Now, something that I've also noticed, they don't have a blocking diode to keep the voltage bun from, you know, it'll just, the solar panel will actually discharge your batteries. This is four AAAs. This is a little case I bought from Radio Shack for like five bucks as well, uh, maybe 10 give or take. I have my solar panel and the main power from my battery box going to this end of the switch. Now, this will allow the solar panel to charge the batteries, but it won't let the batteries, you know, go straight to my USB just in case it's out in the weather or elements or anything to that effect. On the other end, I have it hooked I have the USB hooked up, of course, and then I have it also hooked up to this little LED over here in the, the corner which will let you know that the unit is actually powered up and ready to charge. I use hot glue to seal everything in of course a little bit of hot glue there to hold it in place same thing with the switch. The battery box which I like actually has an on and off switch so that I can turn it on and off whenever I just want to maintain the battery specs. Now to show you an idea turn it around and I'll turn it on and you should see get in the dark it'll blink I got a blinking LED just because I like the way it looks and that's essentially the whole deal with your Altoid solar charger but you have to main, make sure that you have at least a 6 volt solar panel now if you don't want to go that route you can go to say Harbor Freight, which is where I got this. This was only $11.95 plus tax, of course. You've got all your different voltages. You notice how it says with a AA battery charger.